Hey, Fresh Bank, what's going on? I am back with another thing where I do open stuff and show you stuff I bought and um, or have, we have received from, from muffins or whatever. And I'm, I keep looking over here because my stuff is right over there. Guys, um, well, okay, so let's just get started. I, the first thing I want to show you is a few weeks ago, Mike and I were shopping at uh, Off the Page in DCA. And I about lost my, my, well, you know how the phrase goes, and uh, <laughs> when I saw this, and now I have it. This is a, a day at Disneyland with Walt Disney and Jiminy Cricket. Guys, this is a record, and uh, I was going to open it and do like a formal unboxing, but now I'm thinking maybe I'm not, at least not yet. I've got to decide if I want to open it or not, um, because, let's see, it doesn't say... If there's anything in there, there's no like contents or anything like that. But having said that, it looks like it kind of folds open like a book. And I want to bet there's some inside, you know, art or pictures or something like that. And I'd like to take a look at that. And I'd also like to listen to it. So we're gonna we're gonna probably look into this a little bit later. But I wanted to let you know that I did get one, a day at the a day at Disneyland with Walt Disney. And the idea of me being able to listen to Walt Disney talk about Disneyland on a record fills me with so much happiness. <laughs> I can barely stand it, you guys. I can barely stand it. That because here's the problem: even if I didn't want to open it and listen to it, I don't have a record player. I haven't had one in decades, uh, so I have to go and get a record player. And I don't know if I want to get like one of those, you know, fancy new ones that they make because they still make them, but they're all you know ironic looking or whatever. Or if I should just go to you know. Uh, what do you call it? Um, Goodwill and pick one up for five bucks. Haven't decided, nor have I figured out where I'm going to put it because people don't. Well, I don't. I haven't had like a stereo system in my house for also decades because I don't. I don't listen to to music a lot. But anyway, so there you go. There's Walt hanging out on on the train. There's Jiminy pointing his umbrella at him in a rather menacing gesture, I must say. And uh, on the back, you've got. They're going to talk about hopefully. A rocket to the moon, or maybe the Astro Orbiter, or what is this? Uh, Jiminy's messing around with some controls here. Jiminy, you better keep it together. You're supposed to be the voice of reason, Jiminy. Uh, so there you go. By the way, it's $25 for this, and they didn't have very many, but I think they're keeping them in stock, so I, I'm not sure how long this is going to last, but there was only like two or three when I picked this one up. Mailbag. We've only got, I, well, I haven't been to the mailbox in a couple days, so I'm not sure if this is uh, the current status, but... Linda Warner sent every one of us a Christmas card. There's one for me. There's one for Pop Mike. And there's one for Sarah Snyder. I'm going to guess they're like mine, so I'm going to open up mine. It says, yeah, this one's for me, David Erickson, so I'm going to open this one up real quick. She put a little heart. Oh, look at See, she put a little heart on there. Hearts to you. Linda is from Seattle. It looks like. And it looks like a Christmas card. Our first, I think. Was this, is this our first Christmas card? I'm not sure. Oh, this is from DCA. That's uh, Santa. I wonder if that's her kid. Because uh, you can see this is from Elias and Company. Um, this is from 2013. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Linda Warner and Christopher Frazier. Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. And then there's a card in the card. And this is for me. It says my name on it. What is this? The Season's Greetings from Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney. Look at this cute little... That's an old school photo, right? There, or, I mean, a uh, uh, piece of art right there. Is that, look at the old Mickey up there, too. This is kind of trippy. There's two Mickeys on one, on one card. That's nice. I like it. Okay. Uh, dear David, season's greetings. Every morning with our first cup of tea, we wa you're, in, you're in Seattle and you drink tea? <laughs> What, what is, doesn't that, like, isn't there a law against that in Seattle? Uh, 
We watch your latest adventure. You bring the park alive for us. Best wishes, Linda Warner and Christopher Frazier. Thank you very much, Linda and Christopher. I appreciate it immensely. And we got a Starbucks gift card. I, I <laughs> good timing, by the way, because I just I just used the last of my Starbucks gift cards last weekend. So now I get to go to Starbucks again and have more coffee for breakfast. Thank you, Linda and Christopher, and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, by the way, Fresh Baked, if you want to send us uh, a Christmas card, you can do so at P.O. Box 1519, Tustin, California, 92780, care of David Erickson. I think, I think we still get it if you put Fresh Baked on there, but sometimes things get a little lost if you don't put my name on there because the, the P.O. Box is actually under my name. Anyway, what's next? We met... Uh, a couple of muffins at the parks. You guys may or may not know the Wongs. Uh, they've been longtime fans, and they comment from time to time, and they have a lot of kids, and we say, you know, uh, well, actually, I don't know how many kids they have, but I've been doing a lot of birthday shout-outs for them, so maybe, I, I mean, maybe it is just the two of them. I don't know. And we met them at the park, and they brought gifts for us, for both, uh, or for Sarah and me and Mike, and they sent us this box. It's from Starbucks. I kind of opened it a little because I had to see what it was in there when I got it that day. So I opened it a little bit. We're going to do a semi-unveiling. Uh, and it's a, it's one of those, by the way, it's, this is the uh, You Are Here collection. And I don't know if you're familiar with these. Uh, I got Sarah one of these for uh, her birthday a while back. It's, they're coffee mugs that are, that are customized for a very specific location. I mean, like... That Starbucks at Disneyland, not, you know, there's one at DCA that's different, let's say. The one in downtown Disney probably has their own also. So you could only get that cup at that, at that Starbucks in that location. So that's why I got Sarah the one at the Market House uh, on Main Street at Disneyland. So this is one of those, and this is Waikiki. The Wongs are from Hawaii. Uh, Waikiki, and it's really cute. And then it's got the Starbucks on there. Oh, I did that upside down. There you go. Uh, yeah, a little, little pineapple on there. Uh, volcano. And is that the sun? It's a, it, it's, it looks like a piece of cucumber, so I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> and then there's your little beach scene. And on the bottom, it's, well, again, I went upside down. Starbucks, you are here. So this is a, this is a mug that you could only get in Waikiki. Thank you, guys. And they also sent us... A calendar, or not sent, they brought it with them, uh, a calendar from, with, with varying scenes from, from Hawaii. I don't have a calendar yet, so this is good. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't you want to like wake up in the morning and see that every day? This is why, <laughs> wow, this is why people like to go to Hawaii, I guess. Let's take a look. Another beautiful scene. Hawaii is just so beautiful, isn't it? How do you, how do you guys like motivate yourself to do stuff when you could just kick back and watch the sunset all day. <laughs> I don't know. Now, finally, every year, one of, one of the things that I look forward to the most during the holiday season every year is when you park at Disneyland, they give you a, a programming guide of what's to come on, the tele, you know, on, on television. What kind of Christmas movies are they going to see and at what time and on what channel? Well, in this case, well, it's all ABC Family. And we got another one this year. I look forward to this so much. As a matter of fact, I got, I got Sarah a little jelly because she didn't get one when she parked, but I did. <laughs> uh, so, so what it is, it's, it's a 25 days of Christmas starting. Actually, it's already started because they, they kind of show stuff uh, even as far back as the 22nd of November. But every day for 25 days of Christmas in December, they're going to show holiday movies. And they're telling you what time they're going to be on and... You know, or you know, how often, and then it's, here's, this, here's the calendar, and they give you this thing right here. Also, it's a little ornament that you can hang from your tree. Now, the two things I noticed about this one. One is that it looks exactly the same as last year's. I mean, exactly. The only thing that change is the actual show times. So much so that this, let me take that off of here, this thing is exactly the same. And as a matter of fact, it even still says ABC Family on it. Because as you may or may not know, it, that channel isn't called that anymore. Or at least it isn't going to be soon. ABC Family is becoming hashtag Freeform. Now, I want to comment about that real quick because 
Who names a television station a hashtag? That just... That's just taking it too far, I think. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. But anyway, hey, let's take a look at some of the... The first day of Christmas, or the first day of the Christmas season, December 1st, is perhaps my favorite Christmas movie, and that is The Polar Express on, at 7 p.m. Uh, I love that movie. I love The Polar Express. I love how in love that movie is with Christmas. And that's, to me, like... That's like I am with Disneyland in the same way. They, they're unapologetic on how reverent and in love they are with, with whatever it is that they're talking about. And, you know, Disneyland is like that. And I love movies that, that really, you know, pay a lot of respect and, and honor to, to the Christmas holiday, which, because I love Christmas. I mean, who, but who doesn't, right? But, I mean, I really love it. Um, it's, it's the embodiment of what I try to be every day throughout the year. But at Christmas, I can share it even more. <laughs> I can be more in love with all you people and more happy and more nice. <laughs> so, and then, uh, now, here's another one. The next day, Dr. Seuss is How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's the, uh, you know, the Ron Howard live action. Did not like that movie. It's scary. That movie scares me. Uh, and the Grinch is an awful person. So, or whatever he is, he's an awful Grinch. So I'm not crazy about that movie. Let's see, you got Elf. They show Elf a couple times. They also show Harry Potter movies, which uh, I found odd. They're going to play a lot of Toy Story. Oh, look it. Here's one I haven't seen yet. Is uh, the, the Toy Story that Time Forgot short. And by the way, that reminds me of... I have a theory or a, or a thought that, that Toy Story is becoming the, 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 the Mickey Mouse of the present era. Woody and Buzz and Jesse, and, you know, uh, Bullseye, and all those characters from the Toy Story, you know, the core characters, are like Mickey and Minnie, and Goofy and Pluto, and Donald and Daisy. They're, they're our generation, or not our, this generation's core characters. And part of the reason why I feel that way is that, <clears throat> well, well Woody, Woody and Mickey have a lot in common, uh, but they, they're doing these shorts. They do these shorts a lot, and you don't see any other any other franchise, film franchise, doing a lot of these shorts. You've got the one where they're in the hotel. Uh, you got the one where they're getting ready to go on vacation. You got, and then there's this one. And I love that they keep perpetuating and keep telling these Toy Story stories more. And then we're getting another Toy Story story coming soon, I think. Uh, but anyway, so there you go. Look out for this fresh bake when you park uh, at Disneyland. And, and keep this handy. This, this is a nice little reminder of, of where, to, where to get your Christmas entertainment this season. And that's all I got. Fresh break, that's it. That is our unboxing, unwrapping, and uh, whatchamacallit's uh, mailbag. P.O. Box 1519, Tustin, California, 92780. And uh, yeah, so there you go. We'll see you next time. Bye, Fresh Break. Bye. Merry Christmas. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out our Secrets and History videos or maybe our ride-throughs. Or you can just watch all of our weekly trip reports and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. It truly is the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Oh, and don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake through our Patreon campaign. Link below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Fresh Bake!